So the Great Reset's agenda of you will own nothing and you will be happy as pertains to your home ownership may have just begun. Just a week ago, the Wall Street Journal reports that Blackstone, not to be confused with BlackRock, has reportedly raised nearly $50 billion with the plans of a mass buying spree of apartments, homes, office buildings, and warehouses. This news comes as the home buyer affordability fixed mortgage index hits historically low rock bottom and the National Association of Realtor reports that the composite affordability index has been on a decline since 2019. Ultimately, meaning that it's getting harder and harder for everyday average Americans to buy. All the while, our big corporate overlords are gearing up to buy nearly $50 billion of real estate in the coming months. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering, Sarcastic Sam has decided to stay home today and Serious Sam is in. Also not to be confused with the video game with the same title. So how exactly is this likely going to play out? Are we actually seeing the Great Reset's agenda unfold here? And you won't believe who's actually funding companies like Blackstone to come take away the dream of home ownership from the rest of the people like us. Also friends, a quick reminder to consider subscribing to our channel and we just launched our very own Discord server. The link is down below. Now to catch some of you guys up to speed, the Great Reset is an agenda by the World Economic Forum to essentially change the foundation of the economies and in the governments all around the world with an ultimate goal of eradicating private ownership of property and capitalism, which also means your home. Much like BlackRock, Blackstone is also part of the World Economic Forum with a commitment to their agenda as well. Even the CEO and the co-founder of Blackstone Group is a member of the World Economic Forum. And the fact that the Blackstone just raised a record amount of $50 billion and they're committed to fulfilling the Great Reset's agenda we're seeing some serious financial resources to make this happen. But how would this exactly play out? I mean, it's not like all of us will just want to sell our homes to these mega corporate investment groups, right? So the following are simply my opinion as to what possibly could happen based on my research and opinion that could lead to some of these big investment groups to snatch your homes and home ownership of your family. So the first likely scenario is that many of these big companies could be counting on a massive housing crash. It's widely known that some of these big companies like Blackstone and BlackRock pay millions of dollars to professional research team and analysts to get a read on the market. So Blackstone's success in being able to raise $50 billion could potentially be a sign that they could be looking at a downturn in the economy that could lead to a massive buying opportunity at these key real estate markets. And there are signs that they might be right. Already the Federal Reserve is projecting that the unemployment rate will increase, though not much, in the next two years. And many economists and investors like myself see a strong potential for a recession as the Federal Reserve attempts to raise the interest rate as a way to combat high inflation. Even Janet Yellen thinks that there's not gonna be a recession, although we had a negative GDP in the first quarter of 2022, and we're likely going to see a negative GDP again for the second quarter of this year, which means it's recession. And because we can totally trust their media and how much they're not downplaying a potential recession to protect you know who, things could turn out to be worse than predicted. If that is the case, we could definitely see unemployment numbers increase dramatically and consequently so are foreclosures, which may drive many homeowners to sell, thus adding more supply to the housing market. As more supply enter, that means price could drop. This would essentially open the doors for a massive corporate investors like Blackstone or BlackRock to make their way into buying up homes in our neighborhoods outbidding any hopeful families looking to become homeowners. So with that scenario, our amazing corporate overlords have effectively made more people to disown their homes using some rather interesting funding sources. More on that in just one sec. Even if we didn't see a natural occurrence of a recession or a market downturn, you can see how it might actually be beneficial and it's in the best interest if there was a market crash for these big investor groups. And no, they totally won't intentionally cause a market crash. Zero chance, right? But it probably won't happen because the recession is likely canceled by the White House, citing that the two consecutive negative GDP is no longer a definition of a recession. But rather, a recession can only happen when a political opponent becomes a president. <laughs> <laughs> but another scenario is quite the opposite. It's also possible that the market won't crash, but instead the price will continue to skyrocket, so much so that it's nearly impossible to buy a home. This is another feasible move by BlackRock and Blackstone of the world, as they, they can simply outbid just about any average families out there. And the fact that the corporate investors can pretty much outbid everybody and, and pay over asking price, we could potentially see a scenario where the housing market will perpetually stay red hot. Forcing out any chance
chance of an average homeowner or an individual investor from buying. Already, the trend is moving in the direction where corporate investors of all sizes are buying more market share compared to 2001 and 2015. While this isn't a big jump, it still represents a trend towards corporate investors taking more and more from the individual investors and homeowners. A bit of a side prediction as relates to this is that we could potentially see the urban parts of the United States housing market mirroring what the Asian markets are doing. In my birth country of South Korea, the majority of supplier of all housing are Samsung, LG, Hyundai, among the names you may recognize. It's incredibly difficult to buy or build as a private individual in South Korea unless you come from an already a wealthy family. Like the movie Parasite. And it's normally the big corporate investment companies that take the lead in developing new housing units and ultimately either sell or rent to families at extremely high prices. So whether the market crashes or continues to stay hot, the true winners will be the big BlackRock and Blackstone type companies that have pledged billions and billions of dollars and their commitment to the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset. And because they have the billions and billions of dollars, they can pretty much do it. But here's the most alarming thing about who's actually funding these companies. Sure, I mean, there are these multimillionaire families and individual elites that invest into these big companies. But you know who else is participating? You, the average hardworking American. Yep, you might just be funding these very companies that could very much take away your home through the Great Reset Agenda. But how, you ask? Well, first, if you participate in the American banking and tax system, Congratulations, you helped BlackRock. During the pandemic, the Federal Reserve bought billions of dollars in corporate bond ETFs, particularly from BlackRock, essentially lending very cheap money to BlackRock. And if you know anything about the Federal Reserve, both our government and our main street banks transact with the Federal Reserve every single day. So if you've been paying taxes to our government or interest payments from mortgage or a loan, you essentially are part of the system. But that's not all. Got a 401k or an IRA that you invested your money through? Well, if you invested in an ETF, a mutual fund, or especially a REIT, aka Real Estate Investment Trust, there's pretty much a good chance that your money is invested in these big corporate investors who might be using your own investment to one day buy up your own home. And with BlackRock controlling nearly $10 trillion of the market, your participation in any of the companies that they own might continue to help them fuel their conquest. Still proud of your retirement account? So if you're wondering, how can we stop this? I mean, what can I do? Well, first, we have an ongoing conversation happening right now in our new Discord community. It's completely free. It's a place where we can all hang out, share your thoughts, and interact with my team here at the Quack Brothers. Think of it as a decentralized news network where we all get to be the eyes and the ears. So the link is down below to join, so we'll definitely see you inside. But there are practical things they can do right now that our own elites are doing to protect themselves from the Great Reset. In fact, there are three things you can participate in that could help you stay bulletproof from the Great Reset. So for that, click right here where I share some practical things that you can either invest or participate in that could help you financially to protect yourself from the Great Reset. Stay free, my friends.